In this video, you'll learn how you can use ChatGPT to improve or write entire emails for various purposes with the help of prompt templates from Keywords Everywhere. So let's get started. All right, so to get access to the email writing prompts, you need Keywords Everywhere. So go to KeywordsEverywhere.com, and this is a browser add-on that you can install for Chrome and for Firefox. So make sure you have this installed. And the next step is for you to log in to your OpenAI account. Now with the Keywords Everywhere extension installed and turned on, you'll notice two new things in your ChatGPT dashboard. The first thing is this templates button on the left-hand side, and the second thing is this continue button on the top right-hand corner. Now, to get access to the email writing prompts, we first need to click on templates. Now, this opens up the ChatGPT prompt templates widget. From here, we need to click the category dropdown and click on copywriting. And for the subcategory dropdown, we are going to click on email writing. Now, these are all of the email writing prompt templates we can use. So let's start with professional email editor. Now, this prompt template will edit any email for the tone of voice and writing style of your choice. So it improves your emails. Now, you'll notice this widget expand for us to add additional information to this template. We can choose from various languages. I'm going to keep it as English. You can also choose from different voice tones. I'm going to click on professional and you can choose from different writing styles. I'm going to click on conversational and this is where you add the email copy you want ChatGPT to improve. So I'm going to paste this very simple bare bones generic email right here. It says I finished the marketing report for May. It is attached. I look forward to reviewing this with you on our next call. Okay, so we have our email here. Now this is our prompt template. All the information we added in this widget automatically gets added to this template. It says, please respond only in the English language, which we've selected here. It says you have a professional tone of voice, which we've added here, and then also a conversational writing style. And then it says, please edit the following email. And this is my email. Now you can edit any text within this template if you wish, but this has been created and tested to provide really great professional emails for us. So I'm not going to edit anything in this template whatsoever. I'm just going to click on execute template. Okay. So here we go. It improved our email. It updated the sentence structure and our grammar. So it says, I have completed the marketing report for May and I have attached it for your review. I am eagerly anticipating our next call to discuss its contents. Thank you, Ken. Now I want to touch on this continue button. You can see all of these different actions you can click on to tell ChatGPT to do additional things after it generated the response. You can tell ChatGPT to continue the response where it left off, to clarify the response, exemplify it, expand it, explain it, rewrite it, shorten it, or even tweetify it. Now I think this email is a little bit on the shorter side, so I'm going to click on expand. Okay, so ChatGPT expanded the original email it generated and here we go. It is much longer, more detailed. Okay, now let's go to the next email writing template. So I'm going to click on this templates button and for the templates drop down, I'm going to click on marketing email generator. Now this template will help create marketing emails for a specific product or service. You can choose from different languages. I'm going to keep it as English. You can also choose from various voice tones. Now, since this is a marketing email, I'm going to click on enthusiastic and you can choose from different writing styles. I'm going to click on creative. Now this is where you add your product or service. So for this example, I'm going to put down electric scooters. And here is where you add keywords. So you can enter specific words that the email should contain. You can use this to make the email talk about specific things. So for this one, I'm going to put down high speeds and powerful motor. Then you can tell how many total subject lines you want ChatGPT to generate. I'm going to put five and you can also tell it whether or not you want emojis. So yes, I do. I'm going to click on text and emojis. Now this is our prompt template with all the information we added here. Again, you can edit any of the text if you wish, but I'm going to leave it as is and click on execute template. Okay, here we go. So it provided us with an entire email about electric scooters 
and it also provided us with those five subject lines. Now looking at the subject lines, the first one says, boost your commute with high-speed electric scooters. The next one is, unleash the thrill, experience powerful motor electric scooters, and so on. Now this is the email body. So it says, are you ready to transform your daily commute into an exhilarating adventure? Look no further than our selection of electric scooters designed to take you to new heights of excitement and convenience. And it didn't forget to add our keywords. So it says experience the thrill of high speeds as you effortlessly navigate through city streets and breeze past traffic. And then it says our electric scooters are equipped with powerful motors. Okay, so that one is our second keyword and it gives us some reasons why they should choose our electric scooters. And it finishes with this copy. Okay, so I think this looks uh, pretty good. Now let's go to the next email template. I'm gonna click on this templates button and for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on sales prospecting email. Now this template will help us generate sales prospecting emails for our clients in whatever industry we want. Now you can choose uh, from different languages, uh, different voice tones, and also different writing styles. I'm going to click on conversational here. And here is where we add our name, our company, and product or service, social media marketing. Then we need to add the customer's name. So I'm going to put down Elon. And then we need to add the customer's company. So I'm going to put down from Tesla. And we need to add our outreach context. So write about how you met the customer, for example, met the customer at a specific industry conference. So I'm gonna put down a coffee shop in Los Angeles, okay? Now this is our prompt template. Now I'm gonna click on execute template. Okay, here we go. So it provided us with a subject line. So it says coffee shop inspiration meets cutting edge social media marketing. And then it says, hey Elon, hope this email finds you charged up and ready for new frontiers. Uh, I recently heard about your visit to that coffee shop in Los Angeles. And it says at Lead Tagger, we're passionate about helping businesses like yours harness the power of social media to drive brand awareness and so on, okay? And then it ends with looking forward to connecting with you soon. Best regards, Ken. All right, so this is, I think, a pretty good email that you can send out to uh, various people, various companies that you may want to pitch and work with. Okay, now let's go to the next template. I'm gonna click on this templates button. And for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on cold outreach email. Now this template will help you generate cold outreach emails. So sending out emails to people you may not have met yet. So you can choose from different languages, uh, different voice tones. I'm gonna keep it as enthusiastic and different writing styles. I'm gonna keep it as conversational. And this is where we add our product or service name. I'm gonna put down social media marketing and for a call to action, I'm gonna put down, please call me. And we need to add our product or service description. So for this social media marketing service, I'm gonna put down Facebook ads management. And lastly, we need to add our outreach context. So I'm gonna put down, I found you on LinkedIn. Okay, so that's the context. And this is our prompt template. Now I'm gonna click on execute template. Okay, so our cold email is done. So the subject line says, drive business success with effective Facebook ads management. And this is the email copy. It says, I hope this email finds you well. I came across your profile on LinkedIn and I was immediately impressed by your expertise and accomplishments. And then it continues and it says, I wanted to reach out to you today because I believe our social media marketing services, particularly our specialized Facebook ads management, can significantly boost your business online presence and drive tangible results. And it continues and it lists out different benefits of the service and so on. So a very thorough cold email. Now you can hover over this continue button and tell ChatGPT to do uh, different things. So let's just say I want this to be shortened. So I'm gonna click on shorten and ChatGPT will shorten that email and it is right here. So much more direct, much more to the point. Okay, so let's go to the next email writing template. I'm gonna click on this templates button and for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on follow up email. Now this template is a unique one. This one will create a follow up email from one of your customers. Okay, so you can choose from different languages, different voice tones and different writing styles. And here is where we select our role. So either a customer service agent or sales manager, I'm gonna click on customer service agent and I'm gonna put down a customer email 
right here. So it just says, I would like to know the status of my order. I bought a t-shirt for $20 last month, but never received it. All right, so this person is asking about their order, and this is our prompt template. Now let's click on Execute Template. All right, so it says, Hey James, thanks for reaching out to us regarding your order. We apologize for any convenience caused by the delay in receiving your t-shirt. We understand how frustrating this can be, and it continues. Best regards, customer service team. So now you can copy and paste this to reply to your customer. Okay, so let's go to the next prompt. I'm gonna click on the templates button. And for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on referral email generator. Okay, now this template will tell ChatGPT to write an email to a recent customer to ask for a referral. Okay, so you can choose from different languages, uh, different voice tones. I'm gonna click on professional and different writing styles. I'm gonna click on persuasive. And this is where we add our product or service name. I'm gonna put down social media marketing and the referral reward. So post details of any reward the customer gets for the referral email. And I'm gonna leave it as there is a monetary reward for the referral. Okay, now this is our prompt template and I'm going to click on execute. Okay, so here is our referral email we can send to our customers or clients. So the subject line says, your satisfied experience matters. Earn rewards by referring our social media marketing services. This is the first paragraph. And then for the second paragraph, it says, um, I wanted to reach out and share an exciting opportunity with you. We have recently launched a referral program where you can earn attractive rewards simply by recommending our services to your network. And then it also says, for every successful referral that signs up for our services, we are offering a substantial monetary reward as a token of our appreciation for your trust and support. So uh, pretty good. Okay, so now let's go to the next prompt template. I'm gonna click on templates, and for the templates dropdown, I'm gonna click on subject lines generator. Now this one will help us generate subject lines for an email, okay? So we can choose from different languages, uh, different voice tones, and different writing styles, and this is where we place our email. So what I'm going to do is scroll up and copy the original email it generated for us at the very beginning, the first prompt, and that's right here. Hey, dear John, hope this email finds you well. So this one was about the marketing report. So I'm gonna paste that email right here that ChatGPT generated for us. And this is where we can tell how many subject lines we want it to generate. So I'm gonna leave it as 10. And this is our prompt template. Now I'm going to click on execute template. Okay, here we go. It generated 10 different email subject lines for that email. The first one says, dive into the May marketing report, insights await, discover the key to marketing success, May report attached, and so on. Now, I personally probably won't use exclamation points in um, an email subject line for this type of email. So of course, you can edit this um, and you can also play around with the different voice tones and writing styles to make sure that the email subject lines really match the theme of your email. Okay, so let's go to the next template. So I'm gonna click on this template's dropdown and click on email newsletter calendar. Now this template will help us generate an email newsletter calendar for the next few months. So uh, you can choose from different languages again, uh, different voice tones. Now for this one, I wanna put down upbeat and you can also choose from different writing styles. I'm gonna click on creative. And this is where you add the topics you want ChatGPT to generate the email newsletters about. So I'm gonna just put down a handful of digital marketing um, related topics here. And then we can tell ChatGPT how many emails per week we want it to um, generate for us and also for how many months. So I'm gonna leave it as uh, two emails per week and for the next three months. And this is our prompt template. Now let's click on execute template. Okay, so it generated an email newsletter calendar for us for the next few months and it's organized in this nice table. So the date column shows you um, examples of different dates you can send out these emails. And this is the email idea column and also the subject line for that email idea. So the first one says, Fun Fact Friday, the power of social media. And the subject line says, boost your business with social media marketing. And then the second one is about Google ads and then Facebook ads, LinkedIn ads, and so on. So this is the first month. And then this is the second month. 
and it looks like it didn't finish the third month so i'm going to click on continue generating okay so now we have three months worth of email newsletter ideas we can use to generate email campaigns to our followers all right so those were the email writing prompt templates i wanted to show you today from keywords everywhere hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our youtube channel and if you want to check out our other videos feel free to click any of the ones on the screen right now. With that said, we will see you in the next one.